Hello everybody, Salty Walty is back. I have a match in the at guy. This, well, the coloration is requested by NJ. He didn't care what suit it was. But, uh, as you guys seen my last live stream in GBO, uh, I have a request from NJ. He wants an A mobile suit painted in a Yu Gi Oh! color scheme. And I had to, I had to ask him, like, what do you mean by that? Do you mean, like, characters and monsters or just characters? Like, I, I didn't know exactly what he meant by that. And he said anything. I'm like, all right. So, because I, I tend to run an Ancient Gear deck, I went with the dude who has an Ancient Gear deck in that uh, series, and I think his name is, uh, uh, hell, what's his name? Crowder? Chowder? Crowley? One of the two. One of the three. It's one of those names. I'm not. Too, I think it's Crowder. Crowder. I don't know. It's one. It's him, and he's he's got a very flamboyant way of dressing, and uh, yeah, he's got this really weird, like obelisk blue colors uh, jacket. Like I don't. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to be leading. Who was the leader? Of the like the. I don't know. I I haven't watched GX in so long, so I can't exactly remember like everything about it. So uh, yeah, he he runs the ancient gear cards. And that's the first time I ever seen seen him was uh, with his duel with Jaden. And uh, I fell in love with the cards. I thought they looked really cool. You know, giant fucking robots, uh, ancient looking, at, you know, as in the name. And it just generally, like, really sparked some joy into me when I seen the ancient gear uh, creatures. So, uh, yeah. And a lot of them, you know, negate effects and negate spells when they're being used. Or at least attacking during the battle phase. So that's, I kind of like them just for that, honestly. If, uh, I can find some cards that actually negate, uh, spells and shit that would jive with my deck, I'm gonna have to find them. But, uh, yeah, fun, fun, uh, fun time. Fun, fun, fun time. Uh, everybody, I, when I was showing this picture, or this color scheme off, everybody's like, that is so gross, but it looks dead on. I'm like, yeah, I know, right? So, I, I'm like, he's pasty, uh, Crowder. He, he's pasty as shit. Like, he is, uh, almost pure white. Like, he's got the ever so slight pink tint to his skin, but like very, it's very faint, uh, and then he's got that disgusting, like, his hair looked like, okay, so like, this man would not be a man I would want to meet in real life, for one, his, his hair looks like it would be extraordinarily greasy, um, he's also got like, a very terrible fashion sense, but like, he's got an under uh, a blouse that's under his jacket that is pink um his jacket itself is obelisk blue uh he's also got really really dark purple pants with uh white gray uh light gray boots and uh yeah he's just a m mismatch of a whole bunch of different colors and he looks terrible um I remember, like, back in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh, like, every, every, like, there was a couple of centric characters, but, like, at least the side characters didn't look uber stupid derpy, but, like, as the series got, went on, everybody became stupid looking, like, even more so than the first series, and it's kind of weird, um, take, uh, oh hell, pretty much everybody in, uh, the one they had motorcycles with, right? Every side character in that anime, uh, in that Yu-Gi-Oh looked stupid. With the exception of the rose, uh, the chick with the rose dragon. She was a cutie. And, uh, who else? What was his name? Uh, what was, uh, I think his name was Yusei, the main character. He looked pretty cool. Uh, but everything else looked like shit. Yeah, that's not even a joke. But, uh, a fucking, who's tagging me? What is that? But yeah, like, uh, some, some really derpy designs. But, um, 
Yeah, I was. I, I kind of like. But we do lose this one. Uh, our team kind of like falls apart. They didn't want to. They stopped kind of like sticking together or focusing fire half the time. Uh, me being a stealth, I shouldn't be sticking with the team anyway. I should be harassing. But uh, we lose by like less than a one kill. I get the one kill, but no one had. I could have swore someone would have gotten at least a little bit of assist points on it, but I guess not. But, um, yeah, I haven't ran the Akai. Like, the, now I don't count the streams, right? Because we're not, in the streams, we're not fighting to fight. We're fighting, like, the only time I use the, the Akai is if it's in one of those uh, hide-and-seek uh, streams, right? But, uh... Yeah, so I haven't used the Akai in an actual, an actual match like this, and fuck, I think year one. Honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, no, it's. I'm pretty sure I gotta. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I can't remember the last time I uploaded an Akai match. Uh, it's kind of come down to the point where I don't even. I kind of refuse to run at goo guys because they're. They're too stupid. They're too easy to do good in. That's why. That's why you kind of don't see me run gu uh, Gunner Gunnum videos or Hizak Custom videos because the suits. It's too easy to do good in those. Zox. I don't use Zox anymore because again, it's a suit. That when I jump into it, it's just too easy to use. I do too well, too easily in those suits. So I kind of like just stopped using them. You know, uh, once it gets like that, I, I find the game gets boring, right? Now, I, what, last time I did take the Gunner Gunnum, I have a video on it. First match in it, uh, over, uh, probably the first match in the Gunner Gunnum in, I think, half a year to eight months. And uh, I, I immediately go fucking zero deathing in it. And it's, to me, uh, yeah, that's cool and all. Uh... But it's kind of boring also at the same time. Uh, they nerfed it. Like, oh, I think it was like, they nerfed that some bitch almost like two two days. Or not two days, but like the very following month they nerfed the Gunner Gunner. Which they could unnerf, which would bring its damage back up and uh, make the rifle charge faster. Uh... They could either do that or probably give it like a different sub weapon, maybe a grenade or some shit. I wouldn't mind it getting like EMP grenades, to be honest. Uh, it's just something extra because as of right now, it's rather lacking. Uh, like if anything gets close to it, kind of it kind of gets fucked. And so yeah. So yeah, that is uh, match one. I got two others to do after this one. For Wednesday and uh, Friday, uh, I'm, I'm getting the like it's 7:55 p.m. right now, and I gotta be in bed here soon. So, yep, that is one match done. Uh, nice. I think I did good considering I don't ever run the Aku guy. I mean the Ak guy, considering my rival came in ninth and he really didn't do jack shit at all. I was kind of popping off. I know I didn't do a whole lot of damage, but considering, uh. I didn't really have a whole lot of time to get into, and every time like I was on the raid, oh, here comes everybody on the enemy team, so, yeah, whatever. Let's take a look at the patrons. We have Brendan Markey, Azrael, uh, Dragon Spartan, Nanny, Gunnam Nuggers, Jeff Dunn, Clav, Maverick, Momoka, Ninja Guy 12, Peter Strike, Oni Savage, Souls. damn, my sleep medication's starting to already kick in. Uh, Pseudosouls, Elimo, Steel Talon, Minty Rebel, Burb, uh, Mysteries Mercenary, Will Stab, Talamaze, Phantom OC, Viscarian, Xenagos, Michael, Bry uh, Michael Bryson, Wolf Lord, Beanbeard, Crusader, Raven, Serena, Dragon, Gutter, Leo, Coco, Xenic, Shadow, Injade, Bean, Streeter, Rand Hero, Destroyer, and Saul Pla Aki. I want to thank you guys for supporting me, and we shall talk to you guys later.